I have a very cool, very exciting announcement, but I'm going to leave that for the end of the video. So if you're interested to find out what that is, wait till the end of the video or just check out my stuff down underneath in the YouTube stuff. <laughs>
this way and then trace around, which is what I did in this instance. I just went around. just to make it as simple and easy as possible and not go way out with it. So for the beginning, I think I did pretty good with it. So the goal of this van was to initially make it as cheap as I possibly can, make it comfy as I possibly can, where I can just bare minimum pick up and go, be able to make food, be able to have power, and that's what we have. Ladies and gentlemen, Meet Betty White. <laughs> Take your shoes off at the dough. That's actually a good point. Usually when I come in here, I end up shoving my shoes down here. So then that way they don't get my van dirty. We're gonna stop this light show. This is my van. I'm actually running these lights off of my Jackery portable power. I'm not sure which one this is. I have no idea what it is. My solar. I'm so excited. I can use this solar panel to charge this portable battery, which eliminated having to run electrical. These lights right now are running off of this battery. And I've kind of been using this battery on and off for the last week just to nonchalantly turn the lights on and i started with 40 and i'm at 23 so for just running lights um and these are led lights i'll leave these down below the lights are so much better than the ones before the ones before went all the way back there i like how what i did is i'd go over and under and then just kind of feed it through and they go all the way around and it adds a nice mood. I can, we want to make it Halloween-y? There's for Halloween-y. Or I could just make it really nice white. So I think that turned out awesome. Pretty much what I did is I used, they got a little swirly. These were what we used to put the tapestry up on the roof. Initially, I had it where it was attached 100% to the roof, but you can see there's little things here. I did it that way because it looked really bad. Like, and now it just looks flush with everything. It doesn't necessarily look like a van with all the weird divots. I didn't want to take anything out of this. As you can see, all the plastic is still here. The seat belts. There's seats underneath me. There's nothing underneath me right now. What I have is a cooler. I can put my clothes and stuff in the other crevice where I keep the solar panels or I can keep, I have a Coleman grill, but I don't have any propane for it. So it just sits in my house right now. But I, I like this because I didn't have to like tear anything out yet and I can just pick up and go. So I got this van and then my girlfriend was coming into town from Hawaii and I wanted to see her. And it was also a girls weekend. So I was able to have this van ready to just be able to go. I literally took a mattress pad from the pop-up camper. I didn't even have all of the things for the camper. I just used a little camp light and I went. Now, I recommend this to anyone wanting to try van life is if you get your vehicle or have a van or have anything that you can sleep in, do it first bef somewhere where you can go inside if you want to, even in your driveway. But I went to my friend's house knowing that I could sleep inside her house if I wasn't like having the van life like I thought that I would. Turns out I loved it. The van drove great, I'll say that, but it was windy and I was all over the road. It was absolutely terrifying. I am not used to driving a vehicle like this. So that's another thing that you should think about trying to test it. I got to her house. We ended up going for a walk along the beach and saved a butterfly. This van is awesome. 
for drive-in movies. Me and my friend had so much fun. We ended up going to see Back to the Future 1 and 2. You need things like this in these times. We brought snacks. It was just the best. And we went to a brewery. We went to back to a girlfriend's house to have a bonfire and a nacho table. And we were, there was ghosts. And <laughs> it was pretty awesome. This is as good a day as any To start the rebuilding of life The roads that lay open are many When the old one's gone under the knife And I can feel the sun on my skin So if you want to know the truth, I say night one was a success. I'm a real big fan. Great night's sleep. Thankfully, here in Michigan, it is not that cold. The mosquitoes are not out. That's a big key player. The mosquitoes are not out. <laughs> So this trip was awesome. Seeing these lovely ladies was the thing that I needed at the time. And it was just so much fun, especially with our little ghost encounter. This ghost. Uh, so you've seen all of us running away. Well, they have this house on her property. And we walk up there and there's boots sitting on the porch that look old. There's all sorts of grossness inside these boots. There have not been any feet in these boots in some time. So we open up the door and we notice there's a light on in the house. And then that's, that's what happened. <laughs> If you're following me all the way through the end, thank you so much for watching. But now is where we talk about my merch. Where you could get a mask like this. I have sweatshirts, t-shirts, all sorts of stuff. So the cool thing about this merch is I am, it's on Teespring. I will leave a link in the comment below or you can go to my website, savethewildones.com. That will be the best place to go because there's a link on the very first page. You just click the link to the Paws, Claws, and Fins Co. That's the label, I guess you could say, of my brand is Paws, Claws, and Fins Co. What's cool and what I want to do, setting up a Save the Wild Ones fund. Now, starting now, starting from the beginning, 10% of the proceeds go to the Save the Wild Ones fund, which aims to help rescues, shelters, wildlife rescues, wildlife rehabilitators, all of the little guys that are doing so much 
to help save the wild ones and that need our help. I want to do my part and I think that's a good way to start. So if you're interested in buying a mask that comes in 1700 different colors or a t-shirt, please do. I appreciate it. If not, you can also donate to the website as well. All donations are very much appreciated. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you like Betty White just as much as I do. And I hope you continue on our journey where see where I take Betty White. I just got a new job. I'm going to be working as an ER vet tech. But what that means is I only have to work four days a week. And there's the potential for me to be able to take this for weekend trips. So stay tuned for that because that is the goal. Uh, we're going to see what Michigan has to offer. And then see where it happens in the future. So stay safe. Stay wild. Be nice to each other. Bye, guys. I think it's safe to say that Bentley approves.